This is an Arizona's family news update. Good morning everyone. I'm Tess Raffles. Here are the latest stories we're following this morning from the Arizona's family newsroom. More people in our state now vaccinated from coronavirus. Almost 2 million people in Arizona have gotten at least their first shot and more than 1.1 million people are now fully vaccinated. As you know by now, yesterday the state officially opened COVID-19 vac vaccinations to anyone 16 and older. As you can imagine, it didn't take long for the limited number of appointments to get snatched up. It only took some 20 minutes to fill 26,000 spots. But if you missed out on getting an appointment, you don't have to wait too long for another chance. 80,000 more spots will become available starting 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So mark your alarm there, your calendar. Today, a new county vaccination site also opens up at Glendale Community College. Right now, st state lawmakers are considering two proposals to raise Arizona's $240 a week unemployment benefit. The competing bills are scheduled for hearings and committee next week. One raises the weekly unemployment payment to $300 a week. The other increases the payment to $320 a week, but it also cuts unemployment eligibility from 26 weeks down to 20. Both bills were put forth by Republicans, but plenty of Democrats are supportive of raising the benefits. It's going to be a windy day and ADOT once again being recognized for its dust detection system. The American Society of Civil Engineers is giving the technology their Game Changer Award. The system covers a 10 mile stretch of the I-10 between Phoenix and Tucson. When enough dust does pick up to reduce visibility, the sensor is triggered. Overhead message boards are then activated to let drivers know to slow down and speed limit signs are changed based on the conditions. Well, as you mentioned, we've got a very windy day ahead and potentially some blowing dust too. a high of 75 today. Uh, windy throughout the day and into the evening hours by this evening and into tomorrow. We also could get some rain with this system moving in a 40% chance for your Friday warmer and drier for the weekend. Thank you, April. For updates on more stories we're following, download a wrap and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Tess Raffles. Have a great Thursday.